today I'm talking about this book, Les Choses qui sont by Guillaume Favre, which, as you've probably guessed, is in French. So this is a book once again from my library. For those who don't know, as I continue to refresh my French, I'm just going through the small collection of French books my library has, rather than particularly choosing books I'd normally read. Herein lies the problem I have with this book. It's absolutely not the type of book I like to read. The subtitle on the description will give you a clue. Un roman sur la réédification de soi. A novel about re-edifying yourself. In other words, assessing yourself in terms of improving yourself. It's basically about a relationship split and watching one of the couple's lives in the aftermath. This might very well be the type of book you love, but it made it a lot more difficult for me to read because of the subject matter. That's why I often say read things you enjoy. It just makes it easier. Having said that, given how many of the words I didn't know, and I didn't look most of them up, it was quite easy to get the sense of things most of the time, but not all. And there were passages I really enjoyed, like a person's internal thoughts on an art exhibition. But as I'm sure I've said before, ambiguity doesn't bother me. There is a lot of art-related vocabulary and it probably isn't something I'll ever need, at least not in the near future, so I don't really need to know what the individual words mean. Anyway, as usual, here's a short passage from the book to see if you think you'd be able to read it. I'm just going to roughly translate the first five sentences. Un bon film. Voilà. Ce dont elle rêvait à son arrivée à l'aéroport. S'absorber dans un bon film. Elle en avait marre de lire. Pas pour elle, les romans sans intrigue. Catherine était calme et sereine à présent. Un week-end rien qu'à elle. Enfin tranquille. A good film, that was what she was dreaming of on her arrival at the airport, to become absorbed in a good film. Now, I don't know what marre is, but I'm guessing this sentence is something like she had no desire to read. Not for her, novels without intrigue. Catherine was calm and serene at present. A weekend all to herself. Finally tranquil. You'll see with this passage that there were a number of words that were cognates with English words. We might not use those exact words if we were writing this piece, but as far as understanding is concerned, you don't need to do more than use the cognate word to get the meaning. So that's Les Choses qui sont. The next book will be something longer again, in Italian. As I think I've already said in a previous video, I recently had a birthday. And what do I ask for as gifts when one of those comes up? Yes, foreign language books. <laughs>